Hey everybody, my name is Pete and today I'm reviewing 55 shortcut keys to increase your productivity in Google Chrome. Stick around to the end of this video to find out how much time these shortcuts can save you in your work week. I've divided this video up into timestamps so you can jump around to the content that's relevant to you and let's get started. Control N opens a new window, Control Shift N opens an incognito window where Chrome won't track your browsing history. Control T opens a new tab, and I've hidden the most frequently visited sites that can appear when you open a new tab. You can do so as well by hitting the pencil icon in the lower right hand corner. To jump to the next open tab, press Control Tab, and jump to the previous tab, press Control Shift Tab. Now to jump to a specific tab, you can use control plus any number from one to eight. So if I wanna to go to the fifth tab, I press control five. Control nine jumps you to the rightmost tab in your browser. To close your current tab, press control W. And to reopen that tab, press control shift T. Control shift W closes the current window. Alt spacebar does some pretty cool things. So press the Alt spacebar and you can click on the underlined letter that corresponds with the command that you want to initiate. So for example, if I press N, that's going to minimize that current window. Similarly, if I press Alt spacebar and X, that's going to maximize the current window. To quit Google Chrome entirely, press Alt F and X. And as Google Chrome restarts, this is a good opportunity to tell you that you can specify which tabs you want to open upon startup in the settings menu. Control P lets you print the current page that you're on. And I like to choose a destination of PDF and that lets you save the website that you're on as a PDF wherever you want to save it. Control R reloads the current page and Control Shift R does a force reload, which ignores your cache content. The home button takes you to the top of the page. The page down button pans down one screen at a time and the page up button pans up one screen at a time. To go to the bottom of the page, press the end button. Now, if you find yourself in a form or something like this, the tab button lets you browse the clickable items moving forward and the shift tab key lets you browse those clickable items moving backward. Control left arrow lets you move your cursor to the beginning of the previous word in a text field and control right arrow moves your cursor to the next word. And to delete the previous word, just press control backspace. Control D lets you save your current web page as a bookmark. F11 toggles you between full screen mode on or off. Control plus makes everything bigger on the website and control minus makes everything smaller. To return everything to, to the default size, press control zero. Jumping over to YouTube, press the backspace to jump to the search bar and that works on a lot of different websites, especially Google websites. Alt left arrow opens the previous page from your browsing history. It's the equivalent of pushing that back button in the upper left corner of your browser and the alt right arrow opens the next page from your browsing history. Control F opens the find bar and to jump to the next match, press control G and to jump to the, uh, the previous match, press control shift G. Alt F opens up the Chrome menu and I wanna draw your attention to the underlying letters listed here. Click on the letter that corresponds with the action that you want to take. So for example, clicking on S opens up the settings menu. Control Shift B shows or hides the bookmarks bar. So Control Shift B hides the bookmark bar, but it also shows the bookmark bar. To open up the bookmark manager, press Control Shift O. And from here, you can manage all your different bookmarks. Control H opens up the history tab so you can see your browsing history. And Control Shift D opens up the clear browsing data options so that you can delete your browsing history depending on the time range that you want to select. Control J opens up the download page so you can see all the different files that you've downloaded. Shift Escape opens up the Chrome Task Manager 
and you can end a process that might be taking up a big amount of memory footprint. So when I click on this and I click on end process, you'll see that frown face and the tab associated with the process that I just ended. Control Shift J opens up developer tools so that you can learn more about the website and the HTML that it's running. If you head on over to this URL, which I will include in the description, you'll see that you can actually create your own custom shortcuts for the extensions that you have installed. When I want to save something to Pocket, I press Control Shift P and you can manage all of the shortcut keys associated with your extensions at this URL. To jump to the address bar, press Control L. To go to a website, start typing that website and you can press Control Enter to automatically append .com and go straight to that site. You all know that you can search terms up here in the browser bar, but to open a new tab associated with that search, just press Alt Enter. And Google Chrome likes to review and learn your search behavior. If there's a recommendation that Chrome's making that you don't want in your address bar, you can delete that by pressing Shift and Delete. To open a link in a new background tab, press Control and click on it with your mouse. That opens that link in a background tab and keeps you on the tab that you're currently on. To open a link in a new window, press Shift and click. I told you that I would calculate how much time these shortcut keys can save you in your work week. So I recorded the time that it takes to complete the action using the keyboard and the time that it takes to complete the action using the mouse. These shortcut keys can save you 2.7 seconds per action. 2.7 seconds? That may not seem like very much, but that comes out to nearly 18 minutes per week, 1.3 hours per month, and 15.5 hours per year. If you want a copy of this analysis to see how I got to these conclusions, click on the link in the description. Click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos. If you learned something in this video, click the like button. I love to see those likes come through. They make me feel so good. If there's another topic that you want me to cover, let me know in the description below. And thanks so much for tuning in.